Hello my dear children. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, this is the theory session about birds. So this is the session 2 about birds. Children, in session 1 we studied about beaks of birds, their feathers and how birds fly. Now in this session we will study more about birds. So let's start with feet and claws of birds. Children, you might have observed that birds have two feet with four toes each. They use their feet to walk to hop around as well as to catch and hold food. So children, now you came to know that how important are the birds feet? Yes, your feet are very important to walk, hop around, to catch and hold food. So children, we will see some examples of flesh-eating birds. So children, flesh-eating birds like eagles and vultures have very sharp claws called as talons. So children, flesh-eating birds have sharp claws called as talons. So children, we will see some examples. For example, an eagle. You can see an eagle's claws. Yes. So children, using these talons, they pick up small animals. Very, very small animals. And they eat them. For example, an eagle's claws. Then a vulture's claws. You can see a vulture's claws. Yes. Children, you might be knowing that eagles and vultures are amazing hunters. Eagles have eyesight that is five to six times sharper than ours. So children, they can see their prey from very far away. So children, these flesh-eating birds use their talons and they pick up small animals like rats and toads. So they pick up such small animals and they eat them. So these are the prey of flesh-eating birds. Now we will see some other examples of perching birds. Children, perching birds use their feet to hold on to tree branches and to sit on them. So children, these birds which use their feet to hold on to tree branches is called perching. So children, let's see some examples about perching birds. Yes, a crow. A crow is a perching bird. You can see in the picture that a crow perched on a tree branch. The next example is that of a parrot. A parrot grips the tree branch with its feet. Yes? So this is also a perching bird. Now we will see some other birds. That is scratching birds. Children, scratching birds have sharp claws to dig the ground. Yes? So let's see some example of scratching birds. Yes, a hen. A hen is a scratching bird. Why? A hen using its toes. You can see in the picture that a hen is using its toes 
to scratch the mud to bring out small insects so children hen uses its toes to scratch the mud to bring out small insects so it is called a scratching bird another example is that of a peacock a peacock digs out food using its toes so a peacock is also a scratching bird let's learn about some climbing birds so children climbing birds have two toes pointing in the upward direction and two toes in the downward direction so children why is it so why do you have two toes in the upward direction and the downward direction yes they have this because this helps these birds to climb up and hold on to trees for example a woodpecker you can see that a woodpecker holds on to a tree so children now we will study about some water birds a water birds have webbed feet which help them to swim in water so children you can see some examples like duck and hyena so children this is the picture of a duck this is a picture of a heron okay children so children we can say that water birds can walk through water this is called as wading and we can call such birds as wading birds so children wading birds like crane and heron have long legs with spread out toes that help them to walk in water you can see in the picture this is a picture of a crane yes these birds pick up fish from the water and they eat them so children you can see the examples of some wading birds yes wading birds have long legs like crane and heron so these are wading birds so children i hope you are all clear with the feet and claws of birds now we will study about nests of birds so children a bird's home is called a nest birds build nests using leaves straws twigs wool cotton and thread they use many things to build their nest so different birds use different things to build their nest let us see some examples children why do birds build their nests they build nests to take care of their younger ones and they build their nests in safe places to escape or to be safe from enemies and bad weather so children we can see birds nests on trees on the terraces of the buildings and sometimes even on the ceiling fans yes have you ever observed for example a cuckoo does not like to make its nest it lays eggs in a crow's nest and lets the mother crow look after the baby cuckoos okay children so children birds build their nests mostly to lay eggs in them and it is in the nest that their eggs hatch and the chicks stay 
till they are old enough to fly so we can see in the picture there are some chicks they are very 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 young they are very small so they will remain in the nest till they are old enough to fly so children birds keep their young ones safe and warm in the nest so let's peep out into the nests of some birds right the first one we will study about is tailor bird the tailor bird uses its beak like a needle to sew leaves together to build a nest so children you can see in this picture yes you can see some leaves and this is a nest which is built by a tailor bird this is a tailor bird so children a tailor bird also uses materials like thread and wool to sew the leaves you can see here that a tailor bird uses its beak to sew the leaves together to build a nest that is why it is called a tailor bird the second example we can see that is of a weaver bird the weaver bird uses its beak to weave pieces of leaves grass or twigs together to build a beautiful nest so children you can see in this picture this is a picture of a weaver bird the nest has an opening yes you can see an opening through which the bird enters its home okay children so this is called a weaver bird for example the woodpecker the woodpecker uses its beak to peck into tree trunks and make a hole for a nest so you can see in the picture this is a woodpecker and we can see that a woodpecker is pecking into tree trunks and making a nest for itself yes children there are penguins that live in very cold places right since it is very difficult for penguins to find twigs grass or straw in such cold places can you see can you see any twig grass or straw no it's very difficult for penguins to find such things in cold places so what do penguins do penguins collect some stones and pebbles and make their nests okay children and penguins eat fish okay children so i hope that you are all clear with the nests of birds so always remember children that if you see eggs or chicks in a bird's nest do not break or disturb them because they are very very young and small to fly just as we don't like and even spoiling our homes birds would not like you harming their homes or their young ones so children always remember like us birds are also living beings they are also living things correct so love birds do not break or do not disturb their nests okay children so children i hope that you enjoyed this session too about birds so children keep enjoying and keep studying and never spoil a bird's home thank you children